Hello everyone, welcome to Alake Oge YouTube channel. Today's tutorial is on how to draft a, a sketch pattern and we're going to be using the heap allocation method in order to create a big bot alteration. So I've had a previous tutorial on the heap allocation method where we distribute equally to the side. But this time around, we'll be putting the extra to the back to create the big bot alteration. So if you're interested in learning how to make this, please continue to watch this tutorial. So, you know, a lot of people are very, very coffee. So we need to create that kind of, this kind of pattern in order for, to accommodate the big boom. So now to start off, you know, the heap, instead of dividing the heap by four, we're going to divide the heap by two. So the heap I'm working with is 36, so this is divided by two equals to 18 inches. So now that means we have 18 inches for the front and 18 inches for the back. So now the front, the formula for the front is the front minus one and the back plus one. So now we have 18 inches for the front. That means 18 minus one equals to 17 and the back 18 plus 1 equals to 17. So whatever your measurement is, this is how you're going to do it. Minus 1 inch from the front and add that 1 inch to the back. If you still add it together, it gets your whole measurement. So, and if the hips is about like, let's say from 42 to 44 above, you can remove 1.5 from the front and that 145 to the back so now from the front now i know we have 17 that means if you divide something by 2 we have 8.5 and the back 2 if you divide the 19 by 2 that means you're going to have 9.5 because you know we'll be drafting half of the front that's why we're going to be dividing the old measurements by one by two again so now we're going to be drafting the front pattern first so I'm just going to tape down my pattern paper, like so. <laughs> so now to start off, we're going to divide the waist circumference by 4. The waist is... Before, before that, I will just first measure the difference between the waist and the hip. So the waist... This and waist to hip measurement for me is eight inches. So get to measure from your waist to the biggest fullest part of your hip, and mine is eight inches. I'm going to measure that. Then you're going to measure from your waist to your knee because you're going to create the pencil effect for the skirt, and you're going to need that. So for me, it's twenty one inches. I'm just going to input that on the pattern paper. Then. The length of the skirt is 24 and I have about around 24 point something there. So I'm just going to use up the whole pattern paper. So I just label that the hip line and also the knee line. Then at the up there, I will label that the waist line. So the next thing is to divide the waist circumference by 4. You know we are drafting half of the front measurement. So 28 divided by 4 equals to 7. So that means I'm going to be imported seven inches but we need one inch for that allowance because there will be that there at the front so we're just going to i'm just going to mark eight instead of marking seven i'll mark eight and on the hip line i'll mark 8.5 you know the front is seven inches and since we are drafting half of the front in 17 rather so 17 right by two equals to 8.5 so just use your curve ruler and connect it to your hip line so now so for the dart you know the ball span is seven inches so seven divided by two equals to 3.5 so right there on the waistline mark 3.5 then the length of the dart is four inches and i'm just going to use one inch for the dart so half inch on both sides and i'm going to connect it to the dart leg like so i'm just connecting it to it like so so now to create the pencil effect 
for the skirt so you gain to minus six inches from the hip the hip is 36 so 36 minus 6 equals to 30 so 36 so for the to create the pencil frame so minus 6 inches from your hip measurement and the hip is 36 so 36 minus 6 equals to 30 and you're going to see divide that by 4 you know our pattern paper our pattern is in two four places so 30 divided by 4 equals to 7.5 so on the knee line there i'm going to input that 7.5 so from your hip come down by one inch or 0 0.75 so from there you come down you mark straight like that then you connect it to your knee length to your knee like so and these are we've created the pencil effect so from the knee line just mark straight the length of your skirt and at the center of the front pattern you have to come down by 0 0.75 0 0.5 or 1 inch where you use 1 inch here so as to eliminate any kind of folding around the waist region there for the front pattern and this is your front pattern right there so I'm just adding 1 inch for seam allowance on the skirt on the side like so so you can add your seam allowance in your pattern paper or you can draft without seam allowance but I'm adding my seam allowance to this so i'm just going to use my cobbler to connect it the hip curve to connect the lines together like so so this i'm just going to write the seam allowance right there and this is all for our front pattern so the next thing for me is to cut out the excess paper on that pattern paper like so so the front to the trim of the excess there and you're going to write your annotation the front that means you cut your front on fold so the next thing is to place your pattern paper on another fresh pattern paper then use pin to hold it down use pin to hold it down together make sure the sides are really aligned so and use your pin to hold it to the fresh pattern paper on which i'm just doing right now so after you finish using your paint to hold down the skirt, the next thing, the pattern, the next thing is just to trace it off by this side. You know, the side will be the same thing. The extra allowance that we had, that one inch, you're going to add it to the center back around the bot region. So you're just going to trace it off right there. So you know, for the back, we have 19 inches and then 19 divided by 2 equals to 9.5. So on the hip line there, you're going to input your 9.5 there. So you're not, you're not going to measure from the seam allowance. That's why you have to mark out your seam allowance. So from there, you place your tape measure on the edge, just like a placement tape measure, and measure your back hip measurements. So there, from the waist, you're going to connect it to the new hip line. But before I do that, I'm going to add out half inch for the shoulder for the back that you know we always do the back that especially if there is a kind of bit lot of difference between the waist and the eve and this one is about eight inches so i'm just going to add half inch for the back that so once we take it in it's just going to smoothen the back like that so just add it and you're going to connect it right there so from the if the hip line there just connect just make kind of curve if you don't have your curve regular, you can use your hand your free hand to just smoothen it and make that curve to the knee line make sure it curves down straight and straight down to the knee line and also to the hem line so that is it for the back so the next thing you're just going to add you, can, you know at the center back right there you need your zipper allowance because there will be zip at the center back so i'm adding one inch for the zipper 
allowance right there so you can you, you can use one or two depending on you or what you want so you can use one or two for your zipper allowance even at the side seam too your seam allowance you can use one or two inches depending on you want so just connect the lines together like so just connecting those dotted lines together it's, it's very important to use that dotted line so as to get accurate measurement like that so this is it for our back pattern like so see the kind of curve that we have at the bot area there so i didn't mean there is a more there's much difference from the uh hip to the waist like let's say like about 10 inches it's just going to protrude very well so just remove your part front pattern paper from this and you're going to have our back pattern right there so just trim off the excess paper that you have right there and here we have our back pattern so you just going to write your annotation this is the back and you know the back again to cut two pieces so this is all for this tutorial so the zipper allowance i'm going to write the zipper allowance right there so thank you very much for watching this tutorial if you find it helpful please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel for more awesome tutorial so this video you can share with your fellow soulmates so thank you very much for watching if you've not subscribed please subscribe if you have any question please ask your question in the comment section down below so thank you for watching i really appreciate you catching my next tutorial bye